this episode, we're going to create a neat search functionality. If you're familiar with sites like New Relic, or if you've ever used Kibana, they have some pretty neat searches. So we're going to try to emulate that, where we can then just click in our search box to start a search, but then we're going to be presented with a select. We then select which field we want to search on. We can select some kind of operator, whether we want an equals or contains. So in this case, for a category, I'll select equals, and then we can type in a value. In this case, I'm going to type in horror, and then we'll hit enter, and then it adds it as a token. If that's the only thing that we wanted to search on, we can go ahead and hit search, and now the results are just showing the horror categories. If we wanted to add additional in here, we can then go up to the title, we can do a contains, and let's just say that it contains the word the. I'll hit enter, now we have another token, and we can do a search again. And let's also do one for the author. We'll just do a contains, and then let's just type in MRS. We'll hit search, and then we got our results. So this is really neat. And we can also escape out of them, so we can get rid of the category equals horror, do another search, and now we are only searching where the title contains the, and the author contains miss. We can always add back in another category field, and then we can do a search on this as well. And to do this, we're not going to bring in any third-party library. We're just going to have a fresh Rail 7 application, and we're going to use Stimulus to create this functionality. And the nice approach to this is that we are not limiting ourselves on the back end with what kind of search mechanism we're going to use. You use Elasticsearch, Melasearch, Rensac, or something similar. But in our case, on this episode, we're just going to stick to the standard active record queries. But swapping that out for anything else shouldn't be too difficult. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.